when you were writing this, right, what the element of the cannibalism, was that something you thought about from the beginning or you added it in as you were writing and creating? No, you know, that was one of the elements of a story. Um, the cannibalistic element was already in the story from day one. So I adapted it, I changed it a little, I turned it into sin eating, but uh, it was there from day one. Everybody says that they totally bonded out there in the desert and even got tattoos and stuff, so that's a credit to you that everyone got along and being cool and you're cool, so wait, did you get a tattoo? I didn't get a tattoo. I'm one of the few people in LA, I don't have any piercings, I don't have any tattoos, but that doesn't mean I didn't bond with my cast and my crew. I can honestly say in 33 years in the business, you know, at the, at the rap party, you put phone numbers into your into your phone. You swear that you're going to have lunch when you get back to town, and it never happens. It happens on this film. I'm still in touch with just about every crew member, every cast member, and it's rare, and I'm, and I'm grateful that it happened on something that I got to direct. Um, but, I mean, we were very slow and methodical. You know, my, my granddaddy used to say, you know, hire slow, fire fast. We hired really slow on this, and we really did our due diligence and our research, and, and, and I think... With the help of the EPs, the producer, Scott Dolezal, TU, the casting director, we had an amazing group of people. And I don't say that, I, I've seen these events, red carpets, where everybody says the same thing. And generally speaking, they're full of shit. I'm really <laughs> honest in this one. We, we assembled an amazing team. And I'm very grateful because, you know, I'm stepping into the shoes that I've never stepped into before. So for the opportunity for me to trip and fall on my face is huge. So I wanted to make sure that I had a safeguard of a team of experts behind me at every every step. Right, I've heard you've turned down a lot of directing uh, projects and stuff, but this one really, since you also wrote it, was like the, the right time to leap off, right? You know, you know, I've had an opportunity, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've had an opportunity, a, a, multiple opportunities in the past to direct, but they weren't really surrounded with, with the right amount of creative freedom, and I didn't want to direct just to have the title. I actually wanted to create something that, that I came up with and design it in my own head, and, and this, 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 this producing team really allowed that on, 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 in a wide range of every single department. And, and that opportunity, that kind of auteuristic filmmaking style is non-existent in today's Hollywood. So it, it was a no-brainer for me. You know, it, it, it's, 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 people decide when they see the film, but it was a, certainly a huge opportunity for me to completely fall on my face or for people to go, well, maybe that guy can direct. But, uh, but, but the decisions, they put a lot of decisions and left it up to me, and I'm grateful for it. You know, I know it's a small miracle to make a film, or a miracle to make a film, but it's also the distribution is one of the most important parts. And my friend Dan right here said he just was at an AMC, saw commercials for your film at an AMC. That's, that's like, I couldn't believe he said that. That's going to be huge for you. That's going to get it out there. Well, i got to tell you, I, I, I found out where they were playing those, and I went to the theater. And I watched it. It's you know this this kind of doesn't. Hey. It's hugging time here right now. So uh, oh, back to Sean. The, 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 those opportunities, they're not they're not lost on me. So I actually went to the theater. I brought my family. We all went and took pictures. Just by to the, watch the trailer. A hundred percent. If we if we knew the trailer was playing in front, we'd go buy tickets just to see the trailer. I mean, I'm not going to act like this happens chills, every day know, in my... Oh, I, well, I, 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 I'm not going to act like it happens in my... It doesn't happen in my life. So I, I, I took video. I took pictures. I brought the whole family. We did it, you know, because it may never happen again. And it was no, a, it's going to happen again. Well, it was, a wonderful, again. it was a wonderful opportunity. We had a great time. And, and we're enjoying every minute of it. You see, Hollywood, this is how directors should act when they see their trailer and not, like, be bored and not even go to their premiere or, or skip their red carpet. I, I'm not skipping any part of it. I'm not skipping any part of it. All the power to you, dude. You're awesome, and everybody loves you. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. You got it.